As I run to get another towel, it just come down like uh, Niagara Falls. It just come down and I started shouting because I thought the whole lot was going to come down. Residents mopping up and a school closed due to flooding. Hardly the headline you expect at the height of summer. It was quite heavy. It was really heavy. Um, very heavy because we were, could hardly see as we were driving home. You know, you just don't know what to do. I didn't know whether to run in the bedroom, out of the road or run out because I just imagined it all coming down. Well, I'm almost 70 years of age and I've never seen him rain like it. I really haven't, either here or abroad. It was little droplets of water on the side table over there. Then I look up and there's water pouring through my ceiling there. Then it's pouring through my central light fitting, so that had to be taken down and isolated. And then the bulges started to appear across the ceiling. After a weekend that saw the city of Manchester Stadium need to be pumped out and parts of the Alan Turing Way shut because of a collapsed sewer, another downpour has brought more chaos. Nearly 300 pupils at this school have had to stay at home. This school has a flat roof and the drains are actually built into the ceiling. When yesterday's torrential downpour happened, they couldn't cope with the weight of water, which brought down this ceiling tile and the water then billowed out onto the floor here and into several other classrooms rooms as well. It's not quite the water world the teachers here have been hoping to be learning about. By the time I got in this morning they'd already dried out the PE hall and they've arranged for carpets to be lifted today, dehumidifiers to be put into the classrooms overnight and hopefully for carpets to be relayed tomorrow and if all goes according to plan we should have the children back in school on Wednesday. It's a very humid, very heavy feel to the air uh, and also temperatures were sufficiently high to help to try and trigger off these storms. And we've been hearing as well that later on this week we could have heat wave conditions. What's the latest on what weather we are expecting over the next few days? Certainly a very warm, humid week to come. Um, heat wave the Met Office has some defined threshold temperatures that it uses uh, on a region by region basis to define what a, you know, a technically a, a heat wave is. Now, for the northwest, that's a maximum of 30 degrees Celsius on successive days, with a minimum no lower than 15 on the intervening night. Um, it is possible we might just realise those conditions uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday. Doctors and hospitals are on standby to deal with extra people suffering heat stroke. The advice from health experts is to avoid the strongest sun in the middle of the day but despite that it seems there are still many people determined to soak up the good weather. James Webster, Channel M News.